to let myself in. Oh, my mother, is Miss Doyle not at Miss Doyle? Was in the garden with the gardener. The oh. door is wide open. Open? What? What is going on? Well, mother, have a seat. Well, I was expecting a grocery delivery. The grocery clerk was supposed to be here soon, but you should. I came here to do my duty. Is this a, the gramophone? Oh yes, mother. It's the disgusting gramophone. Oh, mother, have a seat. All my friends are very disturbed. Their daughters were here visiting you late in the evening with this stupid gramophone going. Oh, oh, mother. Well, first, let's talk about Miss Doyle. Is, is everything all right since she's in the garden? There's nothing all right. Your servant in the garden, the front door wide open, right. and I had to let myself in. And also, oh, oh, the, the place is filthy, filthy, oh, dirty. Oh, oh, mother, I'm so, let me see your place. Oh, oh, I'm so I sorry. It. All right, well, mother, I will tend to Miss Doyle. And uh, you, you may help me later, and I, I will speak to her about everything. You know, mother, how I am. Tommy and I try not to be very, oh, pushy. Pushy? You're supposed to do your duty. All right, mother. Well, you have a point. Your poor gloves. Look at this. Oh, mother. Your place is dirty. Miss Dawn is in the garden. Well, no, she should be out here. around with the gardener. You're sure she's not uh, 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 picking up the flowers for dinner? Flowers? No. Mm. Well, oh. Getting back to the gramophone. Oh, Mother, isn't it delightful? It's not delightful in my estimation. Oh, Mother, well, Mother, I know we received so many wonderful gifts at the wedding, but Tommy and I, we've been receiving so much joy from this gramophone. Oh, Mother, in the evenings when he comes home from the yard, we love to cuddle up close. And we love listening to our records. Oh, it's so wonderful and comforting just being together with the beautiful music. Seems to me you should be doing more important things. Well, Mother... Taking we... care of this house. Well, Mother, when Tommy returns home from work, he's tired. And after we have our dinner, we like to relax with our gramophone. The gramophone is ridiculous. Oh, Mother, I think it's absolutely wonderful. <gasps> Should I play it for no, you? No, no. Oh. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. Well, just before you came in, I had it on and I had some of the most beautiful tunes. You don't have to tell me I could hear it the other end of the garden. Oh, Mother, how long were you outside? I was standing out there for quite some time. Oh, goodness, Mother, let me apologize. I am so sorry. I will speak to Miss Doyle. You should get rid of Miss Doyle. Yes. Miss Doyle is absolutely disgusting. Yes, yes, yes. And I, I shall address her when Tommy returns home from work. We, we do everything as a team. So I shall address her when, when he returns from work. Oh, Mother, do you know what I've been doing? What have you been doing? <gasps> Mother. What have you not been doing? Mother! I know what you've not been doing, and that's taking care of this house. Mother, you are correct. More needs to be done. As I can see, there is dust on the gramophone, and of course your gloves. And I will make certain that Tommy and I address Miss Doyle about this. This cannot happen. Yes, Mother, you are correct. But let me say, oh, you know what I've been doing? I have been going over everything about the wedding last year. Oh, Mother, do you remember the wonderful day? Oh, Frank escorted me down the aisle while the Belfast Cathedral Boys Choir was playing. The oh, wedding so was lovely only because I was in charge. Oh, Mother, I want to say you did a wonderful, wonderful I job. I know I did. I know it. Everybody said so. Yes, Mother. And the, the beautiful white ribbons at the church and the beautiful white lilies everywhere. Oh, Mother, you did a wonderful job and I am so very happy for your help. I will be always grateful to you.
Mother, do you recall? Oh, oh the beautiful gowns. Oh, Mother, will you wear your, your gown for our anniversary party? Oh, uh, Mother, will you? I will consider it. Oh, Mother, you look stunning. Oh, I know I did. Oh, you Everybody have... said I look lovely. Oh, you did, Mother. You did indeed. Oh, and I recall the black silk striped chiffon over your silk gown. Oh, and let's not forget the black and gold lace adorning the bottom. And then the little bow fringes at the base. Oh, and then the black net over your bodice. And the poofs of white chiffon. Mother, you looked heavenly. You don't have to tell me. I know I did. In fact, Mother, the hat you're wearing right now looks quite similar to the one you wore with your anniversary, with the, your wedding gown. I'm sorry, I've anniversary on my mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, you looked lovely, and you look lovely again today. I noticed your beautiful cape. Have you been shopping? I've had this cape for quite some time. It's your dear lovely. father gave it to me as a I don't know, the best we gift. Mother. It was a year before he died. Oh, my mother. I, I, I know. I, I, I know, mother. Please have some tea, mother. Please have some tea to comfort yourself. Mother, we've all, the entire family, we have all been very, very upset since his passing. Mother, I miss him every minute of... Oh. Is there a problem? <laughs> Is there a problem, Mother? That tea is disgusting. Oh? Oh, well, um, all right. I, I... This door can't even make a decent cup of tea. Well, let me see here. I think it's quite delicious. Well, I think it's terrible. All right, Mother. I will, of course. It, it seems Miss Doyle has much to be desired uh, today and goodness knows in the past week so I will address her and so will Tommy. I think instead of fooling around with this stupid gramophone you should be taking care of this house yes, and teaching your your servants how to serve a good cup of tea. Yes mother and speaking of that mother I have exciting news for you. Don't shock me. Tommy and I have accepted your invitation to have our anniversary dinner at Conway. Well, I think that was a sensible thing because I would never know how you would take care of the, the occasion if everybody came here and saw all the dirt and all the dis absolutely disgusting way of serving everything. Well, Mother, I... I I, I, of course, as, as I said... I had to do it. It was my duty to have this party. And you care about us, and thank you, Mother. Oh, Mother, have you any ideas uh, for which dishes we shall feed? Of course. The most important thing is the main course, and we have to have some venison. Yes. Yes, indeed. Some wonderful roast beef. Yes. Some... Everything that we really like, lovely fish, Ooh, the fish and is. also my favorite thing is soup. Oh, and, and Mother, I couldn't agree with you more. I've still been having so much trouble with my stomach as of late. Oh, Tommy, Nelly, we have to have turtle soup. Oh, that would be That's my what? very oh. favorite thing, turtle soup. And it would be so easy on my stomach. Oh, Mother, I think as much of it is my nerves. Oh, I miss Tommy so much when he's not home with me. And I think it's starting to affect my appetite. And I think it's starting to affect the problems I'm having more often. I think it's uh, affecting your appetite because your servants don't know how to cook. Well, well getting back to the anniversary, my, 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 Calm down, Mother. Getting back to the anniversary, I thought that I would have um, my staff uh, come with me to Conway, and they would be, of course, uh, under your tutelage, along with the, your domestics. You would teach them exactly um, how to prepare all the dishes, and they will be there to help you to serve them. 
That's the only sensible thing that you have said since I came here. Oh, Mother. Well, oh, Mother, let's, let's talk about much happier things. <gasps> mother, do you remember the wonderful gifts from the wedding? You mean the beautiful gifts that my side of the family gave you? They were the most enchanting things. Yes, Mother. I, and I, I was actually, have you taken notice? I've been here this afternoon, and I've been looking at the beautiful laces that you did give us. And there we are, Mother, those beautiful pillow shams. Yes, you must admit, Nellie, I do have exquisite taste. Oh, Mother. And I do know my lace. You know, Mother, I've been asking, I've been meaning to ask you, where did you, where were you able to purchase such beautiful pieces for the wedding? I have secrets. Ah. Where I get my beautiful lace. I understand. I understand. Oh, and there's another one of the, the boudoir pillow covers. Oh, Mother, you did so well with your selection. Oh, and let's not forget, does this look familiar? That is for my beautiful dress. Yes, yes, the lace from your dress, Mother. Oh. It wasn't as exquisite. It was so kind of you to give me the last Just to here. think, nobody knows where I got it. Oh, Mother. It's my secret. And it shall be your secret, and it will make your gifts all the more special, because there won't be another one like it. Well, Mother, do you remember this? The lace that was adorning my wedding gown. And, yes. Mother... I have to thank you. That was all on your persuasion. Oh, Father, you did so well in helping me with my gown. I really did work for very, very hard. You did, Mother. I wanted everybody to know that my daughter would look lovely because I would be in charge of her beautiful wedding gown. Yes, Mother. You did such a wonderful, wonderful job. Oh, and Mother, oh, I'll never forget your hat. As I said, the one you're wearing now is quite reminiscent of it, but you had a few more, I believe, ostrich feathers on it. Oh, but Mother, do you also recall Aunt Lizzie's gown? Aunt Lizzie, the don't mention that lady to oh, me. She, oh, she had the wonderful gray velvet with the Brussels lace. Wasn't that grey heavenly? Much to grey eyes. Oh, Mother, I thought you... The perfect oh. match of her grey eyes. Oh, Mother, I know you, you, you don't f truly feel that way. You speak with Aunt Lizzie from time to time. I, I think... cannot stand that woman. Oh, well, I, I'm very sorry to hear that. Um, she's... She's very accept accepting of you, Mother. And she's well, been I... very good to me. Really? Yes. Really good? Very. She should be teaching you how to run a house. Oh. Well, in fact, Mother, she has come over previous, some time ago, and she did suggest many things to me. It seems to me you, she didn't do much to help you. That this is the one... This is what has happened. Yes, Mother. I, I agree, but that is not Aunt Lizzie's fault. Um, it is strictly upon Miss Doyle, and of course Tommy and I will need to address her. I shall do so this evening. And didn't you get some jewelry? Oh, yes. Yes, Mother. Oh, I keep thinking of Frank walking me down the aisle. Mother, do you know I can still smell the orange blossoms upon my veil? Oh. Yes, in fact, Mother, I was looking at the amethyst and diamond bracelet that James gave me to go with my rings. Oh, look how beautiful, Mother. Oh, it was one of my favorite gifts. What are you doing, Mother? Is it not lovely? Amethyst? Yes! It's not amethyst, it's glass. It's not glass. It's, it's purple glass. I always knew he was so cheap. Oh, oh, Mother, I beg to differ. This is amethyst. And James, James had said 
that he, he had went to uh, Robinson and Cleaver's to especially have it ordered to match my ring. His so purple, purple glass. I beg to differ, Mother. Any expert can tell you that, and I am an expert on jewels. Yes, Mother. Oh, Mother, do you recall <gasps> the beautiful inlaid cabinet and the Chippendale clock from the John. The Chippendale clock. From John and Jesse. The it was broken. It didn't even go. It was not broken. John had decided to leave it sit, and he was going to work on it just before the wedding. He wanted it to be brand new for Tommy and I. I think it's utterly disgusting and very poor taste and the, to give a, cl a broken clock it's for not a wedding broken. gift. Mother, it's not broken. It's working just fine. Can you not hear it? It's working just fine. Mother. Oh, do you recall the beautiful mer mother of pearl inlay in the cabinet from John? I don't and, recall it at all. Well, oh, well, Mother, let's get to the gifts that you helped Tommy and I with for one another. Well, let's start first with Tommy. The waistcoat buttons that you suggested, the mother of pearl, he absolutely adores them. And then, of course, his shirt studs, his collar studs, that are with the olive vine. He absolutely adores them. In fact, he wore those cufflinks to work today. But I also stopped by Robinson and Cleaver's mother, and I bought him a separate uh, a set of waistcoat buttons um, with more of the olive vine on there. So they'll match everything on his shirt. Oh, that's the best thing you've said. And mother, do you recall his gift to me and our bridesmaids? I do, and I thought it was very, very peculiar. Well, mother, I was looking at things here, and here we are. Mother, he, he, I think it was quite ingenious. You know all, all how much, he, and all the work he's done with his bees. Why, Mother, he truly admires the bees and the way they all have a job in their colony. So ridiculous, a grown man enchanted by bees. And, Mother, I will say that he still tends to those bees at Ardara. Whenever he also we came to my house opened up the window in my drawing room and let in bees. Oh, Mother, I know that's not the truth. You're only saying that. Why is it, Mother? You're always coming up things about Tommy. I know he did it on purpose. Oh, he wanted mother. me to get stung. Oh, Mother, you are confused with what Aunt Lizzie was telling you. And, Mother, do you, do you not recall all the times Tommy came to pay call to me? I remember well. When you, you left him in the foyer, in the vestibule. You I left him to sit there. That's a big lie. Mother, you were not very kind to him. He never came. Mother, oh, I suggest we, we move on to something else. So, Mother, I, I, Mother, I suggest that we would use your laces on the table cover and all the pieces you've given me. And of course, Aunt, Aunt Lizzie did give a few pieces of lace, so I thought to adorn that in there. And, Mother, I have it all written down. I'm very organized to be very proud of me. I have here in my book. Now, Mother, your lace and Aunt Lizzie's lace. Now, of course, we um, have the gifts from John and James. Um, I think the clock should be out and about where everyone can enjoy it and not just hear it in the background. Now, Mother, you know of Mr. and Miss, Mrs. Roland Pears, the Pears Soap family? Pears Soap, and that disgusting actress who has a picture on the soap. Lily Langtree. Lily Langtree. She's nothing but a trollop. Oh, Mother was very kind of her to advertise. You know, Roland's father worked very hard to establish that company. And I do recall that at the wedding, the family was very good to you. I would Lizzie. never use that soap, oh, not in mother. a million years. Oh, mother. Well, let's move on. How about the cut glass vases that he and his wife brought, and the silver vases? Wouldn't they look stunning on the table? Were they waterproof? I, and actually, mother, I have not studied every piece in detail, but you would know. 
I would know if it's waterfall. Let me also mention a few other pieces. Henry, you know him, Mr. Harlan. He, do you remember, do you recall the silver-mounted salad bowl he had sent? I, I think we should use that. He would be very honored. Now, I do know he's, he's not available, and he's over at the yards in China, but he would be honored to find out that his gift was on our anniversary table. Nellie, let's get back to the, the party. Oh. How many people do you think are coming? I'm not certain as of yet, Mother. But well, it seems to me, if you're going to have a party, you have to have a guest list. You have to let me know how many people are coming. Yes, Mother. You see, today was a unexpected visit, a surprise visit. So I, I, I shall, I shall prepare the list. Mother, I think I hear the phone. Excuse me for a moment. Hello? Oh, hello, darling. Oh, yes. I miss you. Yes, dear. Mother has paid us an unexpected call. Yes, I've told her that we have accepted her invitation for the anniversary party. Yes. Oh, darling, would you love to speak to Mother? It, it would mean so much. Yes, dear. Oh, I love you so, and I look forward to seeing you this evening. Here's Mother, dear. Now, Mother, put that up to your ear. Hello. Mother, right here. Hello. Hello. Why, Mother Barber, welcome to our home. And what a pleasant surprise. Uh, Nellie didn't tell me you'd be stopping by. But um, glad you did. I want to have, thank you for offering to have our anniversary party at your home there at Conway House. Beautiful home you have. And things are progressing well with Olympic and Titanic. But lots of work yet to be done. In fact, I should best be getting back oh, to the art soon. I to tell you. I came here today. The door was wide open. Miss Dorn was in the garden with the gardener. This is no way to run a house. No, don't say that to me. You know I'm only trying to do my duty. I'm not trying to interfere. Don't say that to me. Do not say that to me. The phone's gone dead. Mother, give me the phone. Hello? He's hung up. Mother, you were very rude to Tommy. I was not rude. You were. I, was, I was just speaking my mind. You were very rude. Why do you have to continue to be like that to him? I have to tell him what's going on. It's my duty to come here to try to help you. Look at, look at the tears. Look. Oh. I, Mother, I said I would address that with him when he comes home. We are going to deal with Miss Doyle. But, Mother, I wish, truly, I wish you were a, a bit kinder to Tommy. It seems to me, Nellie, that my meeting today is going to come to an end. Yeah, Mother? A very sad end. Mother, I'm starting to feel most unwell. I'm getting tired and I'm getting flushed. I think I best call for your carriage. I think it's an excellent idea. I shall see you off. Huh. Mother, you're losing your hat. You don't have to tell me what I'm losing. Oh, you're losing your hat, Mother. You're so upset. I'm going. I let myself out. All right. I let myself in. I let myself 